Using Google Earth to accurately set your camera angles in 3D, preview your flight path based on those camera angles, then virtually flying your flight path will get you this kind of a shot when you fly your drone. So before I get started, I do have another video that goes into a little bit more detail about part of what I'm going to show you here. You might want to check that out. There's a link in the description below. So to be able to do all this, you'll need the Litchi app, a DJI drone capable of waypoint missions, Google Earth, and a program called Virtual Litchi Mission, which is only compatible right now with Microsoft Windows. There's a link in the description to be able to download that software for free. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we have Google Earth and what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder so we could save all the different camera angles and I'll go ahead and title it SF Ferry Building and then we're going to go ahead and set the first waypoint which is going to be the takeoff location again I do have a separate video that goes into this a little bit more detail but right now we're looking at the elevation is 9 feet, the eye altitude is 120 feet. So the difference between those two numbers is the actual altitude that the drone will fly above the home point. So I'm just making some extra notes in naming this waypoint. And we'll go ahead and save it. And then I'm getting set up for the second waypoint. And so we have this tower here. Go ahead and get that centered into the frame. Right about there. Go ahead and save that. And you can see the eye altitude is the same as the first waypoint. So the altitude for this waypoint will be the same as the first one. Go ahead and save that. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom away from the tower and set my next waypoint right there. Okay, again the eye altitude the same, so that means the altitude is the same as before. Go ahead and get a little bit further out. Have a little formula over there that shows you how you calculate the waypoint based on a change in the eye altitude it's now at 302 feet so the altitude for this waypoint is going to be higher of course I'm going to set up a few more waypoints but the steps are the same so no need to show you that so now we're going to go ahead and save all the waypoints so we'll go ahead and click over in this section here save place as save the file as a KML file and then we'll go ahead and switch over to the virtual Litchi mission software. And as I mentioned earlier, there is a link in the description to download this free software. All right, I'm not going to go into any details on how to set it up or install it. It's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and import the file that we just saved from Google Earth. You'll select treat views as waypoints and then locate the file on your computer. Go ahead and import it. So of course this is the Litchi Mission Hub and it's embedded into this software. And so you'll be able to preview your flight path as usual. And you want to go through the settings and make sure that all the settings are correct. Return to home of course would be typically the final finish action after you complete the mission. Cruising speed, go ahead and head, set it to 15 miles per hour. I like to set the max flight speed to maximum and everything else looks pretty good here uncheck that box and then go ahead and close this and as you can see the waypoint altitude is 111 feet just as I had calculated earlier within Google Earth 
So now we're going to go ahead and export this as a KML 3D path and it's going to automatically open up Google Earth and there you can see the flight path in yellow. We'll go ahead and zoom in and how cool is that right to be able to see the exact flight path that you'll be flying and here you'll want to check for any kind of obstructions so you're making sure that you're not going to fly into anything and so all this looks pretty good to me and then we'll go ahead and switch back to the virtual litchi mission and then export it as a csv file and this is another cool part here so over in the side here you'll select the file called virtual mission you'll go ahead and double tap that and right now it is actually showing you the approximate flight path for the mission as you would see it with the camera of your drone pretty cool right and there's the tower and so the first main camera point is right there it's a little bit off don't know the reason why but when I actually fly the mission and record the video it's going to be pretty spot on so now I'm going to go ahead and save this mission so that I could load it into the Litchi app name it SF Ferry Building hit save okay so a short trip over to San Francisco I'm at the launch site I'm gonna go ahead and load up the mission there we are hit load do a little preview here make sure everything all looks fine check the first waypoint I'm going to actually change the gimbal pitch angle, which is the pitch angle of the camera. I'm going to make it at zero degrees so I'll be able to see the horizon instead of the camera looking straight down. Tweak the heading a little bit so that it's a little bit more in line with the direction that I'm going to be flying toward the tower. go through the mission settings and everything looks pretty good here so we'll go ahead and exit lock the mission and hit play to start the mission here we go and just in case you're not familiar with the Litchi app it will fly this mission completely autonomously So skipping over to the money shot, here we have the tower that's perfectly centered in the field of view. The bottom left is the virtual flight path. You can see it's a little bit off, but again, the actual video that's recorded is straight on perfect. That's really set more precisely with what you set in Google Earth. Hey guys, so that is it. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I always appreciate you hitting that like button. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye.